City fans, welcome to back your tune at Midwell Raceway. As you guys know, JP from 011 Suit Society usually hosts the best events in South Africa, and I'm pretty sure today is going to be no exception. The place is packed, the racing is about to start now. The format that we are going to run this racing in this morning, everyone is going to run times. There's no heads up racing, nothing like that. Everyone runs for their own personal times. There's a lot of people out there shooting for personal best this weekend and then late on this afternoon I'll inform you guys there will be classes and the four fastest races of each class will battle it out to see who's the fastest in that class but I'll update you guys once that starts now as you guys know I've been doing this all on my own for quite some time I got someone to assist me with some footage at the events here you go guys What's up guys, I'm Ryan, your new face and voice on this channel. I'll be giving you guys some more cinematics and insights on the cars that are running today and on the tracks that we visit. Stay tuned. So that's it guys, that's Ryan. He's going to be assisting us at most of the events going down. If you guys want some driver interviews or stuff like that at the track, please speak to Ryan. He is going to be roaming the pits, getting footage from that end as we will be on the line for the most of the events to try and capture as many runs as possible. So if someone runs a personal best, that I'm on the line to film that. Stay tuned for an epic event guys. So that was a 10-1, they improved their time, their best time was a 10-3, they just did a 10-1 first run out. Not only are they home to the fastest 1.9 TDI in South Africa over a quarter mile, but they also specialize in the following. ECU and TCU tuning on all makes and models, DPF, CAT, EGR and other error code deletes, custom fabrication work from downpipes, boost pipes and inductions to turbo conversions. Edge tuning is located in Pots of Strum, 
but has over 10 dealers across South Africa to assist with all your tuning needs. Be sure to give them a like and follow on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you to Ed Tuning for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back into the racing action. <laughs> Callan from Strata, I'm driving the FATM3 today. Uh, I'm Naval from NV Performance, I'm the tuner. So Strata Performance, we're based in Kyle Army. Our partner NV Performance also based in one shop. Yeah. And the, the, let's say the, the mothership of our company is 357. The goal today is hopefully to run a 9. We've done a 10 one before. This is the fastest in South Africa. Yes. For now, there are people very close, but we are hoping to move the goalposts today. Hybrid turbos and stock motor, stock fueling, stock clutches. Is there any mods on the suspension on this one? H&R, okay. um, Bering Springs. And then I'm not sure if the guys are familiar with Ashley from H&R. A good friend of mine, he's helped us set up the campers and pastures and all that stuff. So yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Chasing that nine, his best is a 10 one today. Let's see if he sets a nine. The market king on the right hand lane. That's a 9.9 for Callan. We struggled this morning. Uh, the traction wasn't too good as we put second. The car just kept stepping out. We played with the gearbox settings quite a bit. Every run we were changing one little thing, one little thing. Him and I were discussing the whole time. Uh, we got it down to a 10.17 and then our last run was a 9.92 at 2.27. 9.92 at 2.27. Best of T5. Best of T5. In South Africa to run nights. And we are here. So, exactly. So we got our local hybrids, they in house from us. You can speak to us 357 or MV. Yeah, no, look, we're very proud of this achievement. We, we've been pioneering the S55 market for a while now, and we've just proven why we're the best at S55. There we go. And you guys planning to back it up or run again? I think we can run a 98. Yeah. Yeesh, now we're yeah. talking. Well, after we're done here, we'll go to the course and then we can level the playing field. Yeah. So I like the that. time's both draggy and track certified within 0 0.01. One more time for the camera, guys. Tell us where to find you guys. Uh, Strata Performance, Envy Performance, and at the 357 in Carlisle. Hit us up anytime. Cheers, guys. Sure. Sure, Thank bro. you. And the right hand line backed off.
Eleven four, eleven eight. Thirteen seven eleven two. Big one for the two of the wheel. I'm Dominic Dyer, so I'm from the south of Johannesburg, and I've got a wheel drive EK Civic. It's a fully built motor, pistons, rods, uh, sleeve block. Uh, yeah, ooh, basically ooh, it works. Uh, still got the stock suspension actually, it was just uh, from the previous owner. So yeah, they're obviously upgraded, but yeah, nothing nothing major. So we're going to see how far that goes and then yeah, we'll see from there. And then uh, what management are you guys running? Uh, it's uh, got a FuelTech FT600. And wait, what's your plan to see today? What's your best time on it? I hope to get into the 8. So hope yeah, to get into the eight. Get that no, lovely, we're going to follow up with you. We're going to catch you on the line. So thank you so much thank for the interview. Appreciate it. Cheers. Then three was the okay, previous thanks, guys. Thanks, we'll find out the time now. What do you have to say? Uh, ecstatic, I'm super super happy. What so, did you yeah. get? What did you uh, get? We ran 8.9 at 249. So, yeah, at 249? Yeah, we're very very happy. So, yeah. Are you planning to back it up or what do you want to do? Yeah, hopefully go a bit faster now. Hey, there now we go. Run it, you want to go a bit quicker, so let's see. Hundred percent. Yeah. So you plan to pull a full, few more runs. For sure, yeah. As long as the car holds together, let's see. Let's see what we, we can do. We congratulate you, Brian. We know we like you, buddy. Thank you so much. Ten three, ten two. Uh, Ono, uh, yeah, this is my bucky. <laughs> Well, we're from the East Rand in Benoni. Okay. Uh, we work for Dictator Management there. Okay. So the support is good there. And uh, we also have Altec agents. The Bucky is equipped with the Altec. All so, right. So, yeah, just having a fun day today. That's nice. I actually come from a racing background. So drag racing has just always been a passion. And, yeah, that's why we're here. 100%. Can I ask what motor you're running here, so, sir? It's actually a 2.7 Hilux engine. It's called a 3RZ. It's actually a fairly new level vehicle. But it's doing well. Very nice. Um, are you planning to run again? Sir? Yeah, we're going now. Alright. Thank you so much for this. Thank you.
aggressive. Round of applause for Arnu. Still runs a nine. Nine six got a mile. They backed off right after the two hundred. Nine Eleven one nine nine. Eleven six twelve eight. Captain Boyle, ladies and gentlemen. One for the right, no time left. Nine for the right, no time for the left. Uh, I'm Gerrit from Lethal Motorsport, uh, part of Insane Race. And yeah, this is my top six R. Why this car? Uh, it's four wheel drive from the start. Uh, I bought it stage two. We okay. barely made 300 horsepower on this thing. Wow. 2014. Okay. We struggled with it. And I just fell in love. Every mod we did, we went faster. We didn't even chase tons at the moment. We just enjoyed ourselves. and. Uh, when we first hit that first 11.5 in 2016, it just began a sickness and we just grew and grew and 100%. made it faster. And everybody, every time I see this car, the headline is fastest MK6 in the world. It holds yeah, that record with um, all its specs and everything like that. Yeah. Uh, what times, what's your best time you ran on this car? Sir? So we ran multiple 10-0s, ten <laughs> yeah. Yes. We ran it to a lot of tracks, different tracks. Every time we hit the 10 zero, we went to the coast to try and okay, get Okay, you guys went down as well. We all right. Yeah, but we had issues there with boost pipe shooting off. It was on the previous setup still. So we sorted all that stuff out, but we never went back yet. Um, COVID happened, you know, all yes. that type of stuff. So, yes. yeah. 100%. But today, you're looking to jump that nine, sir? Yeah, yeah. We finally figured out that we had a lot of fueling issue on the vehicle. All right. We sorted that shit out. All right. And, um, yeah. Let's see. We put the extra fuel pumps in. And so it was it was running on 200 meter. We always had good times. Yes. But on the 400, it started chowing all the fuel. Okay. We ran out of fuel. And we never could get that car to run up top. So we sorted that. I personally never see the car. I've only seen it at Midway. 
So I've never seen a drone up top. I'm excited to see what happens today. And we're gunning for you. You know we're on your side. Thanks. Thank you so much for the interview, sir. Bradley Collab with the Tain Racing doing a single hit G6R. Congratulations. Yeah, and there's still more in it, so we'll see later too. The crowd went crazy. Everybody supports me on. Yeah. I saw your exit speed was impeccable. So you're going to go again? Yeah. Plan to chase it and back it up? Yeah, for sure. There we go. Thank you so there's much, sir. more boost in it, we'll check what you I can say. do. There we go. Thank you. Back Cheers. 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 With this bike, ladies and gentlemen, we ran a quarter mile time of 8.3 seconds. That's a South African national record at 264 kilometers per hour. So from zero, when he crossed the 400 meters, he was traveling at 264 kilometers per hour. Kubus van Beek, ladies and gentlemen, representing Marius Lord Racing, out here in his BMW Superbike, fully modified and ready to run in the eights again. Ran in 8-3, ladies and gentlemen, that is a national record. So next up is Kubus, his personal best at Midwall is 8-5, but his personal best at McCursey is 8-3. He's looking to do better than 8-5 here today. <laughs> Solid one, personal best loading up, runs a 9.6. 
Thirteen, eight, twelve, six. <laughs> Then three, eleven, six. That is Lance's second CV broke today. <laughs> Thirteen three. Right, right, show me what you got, boys. It's an RS3 on RS3 affair. <laughs>
Nine, three, ten, five. Just having a chat with Louis from QT here. Yeah. This car ran a 10-1 earlier. I'll show you guys that. That is an uh, altitude record for Hybrid Turbo. They are currently chasing a 10-0. for the Uno 11, 6 for the Golf. Eleven eight, eleven seven. Eleven, eight, ten, four.
Thirteen four eleven three. This is where the eliminations or the knockouts or whatever you want to call it, this is where it starts. There's only four people from each class, so it's going to be two runs on each class and then we'll move over to the finals to determine the fastest for the day. That's how they're going to run this one. Left lane takes the run. 9.8. 9.9. Left lane takes that one with a 10.4. Gratelaine takes the win, ladies and gentlemen. That's our race, guys. Gratelaine takes the win. Nazi Boysen runs a 10-3. Single run, ladies and gentlemen, for Corbett Van Beek. Daniel, where's your money, bro? Let me give you a bonus. Bring those under and believers. Right and line eleven nine. Yes, but those breakouts count here. Yes. This is what we need to know. There's money here, right? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Just hold up. Okay, there's a lot of money on this race, and they say it broke out because it ran 11 miles. 
the line. Speak to JP. First to the line. JP, I need you on the line. <laughs> Money out here, you know, these oaks are breaking out. What, what, what? Come, come, come. It's yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Ten point five. with a 9.6 one with 11-1. with a 9.9 the right hand line broke out with a 9.9 left hand line 10.0 
right down lane takes the run with the 11 watt. Ten lane nine eight. Takes the money, baby. Okay, the right lane broke out with his nine broke eight. Out, broke so out. the left hand lane print takes the win with a ten point four. So Cressida 10-1. Right guys, so that's going to be the end of this video. They are still having a go at it. It is currently quarter to six. The track was supposed to close at 5.30. It's now quarter to six. I am... I am Moog. We were at Bloemfontein yesterday. You guys will see that one later. This one is going to come out first. It has been a cracker of the day. Great racing all day long. A lot of guys hit their personal best, new records, everything. We got a couple of interviews with you guys. Uh, if you don't see your interview in this video, you will see it on, on Facebook. Um, let me know down in the comments below how do you guys find the new style of videos with Ryan helping me. I'm pretty sure it is going to that you guys are going to enjoy it so yeah. let me know down in the comments yeah, what do you guys think of the new style of videos that's going to be it for this one but i'll see you in the next one peace out and reflect your passion